My name is Chemda Hennessy, and I'm a podcaster. I've always had very low lows and very manic highs. I started um, planning suicide as part of an escape for my brain. Um, my brain went to suicide when things started coming down. Um, I had a way out, and I considered it a way out. I didn't have very good experience with therapy. Therapy is like finding a boyfriend, I think. You know, you have to um, sort of go through an interview process, go on a couple dates. Uh, but I did finally find something called Al-Anon. And it's a group setting, and it's free. It's uh, daily, weekly, whatever you want it to be. You can make a phone call. And what I found was I could just sit there silently at first. I was just silently crying at my first meetings. That group setting really helped. The love that you find in a room of New Yorkers that you never thought existed that they are just laying out their, their life and their heart on the line, you can't help but feel some connection and the take what you want and leave the rest is some of the best advice that I not only take in Al-Anon and in meetings, but also when talking to anybody or when dealing with anything. Something that I learned lately is uh, to, to really say the stuff that you don't want to say. So there's usually something rolling around in my head that if I'm feeling a certain way, I don't want to tell someone. There's, you know, a fight that I had with my husband. There is a financial difficulty. There's a, a sadness, thoughts of suicide, things that um, I'm afraid, not only that people will judge me because I don't think my friends will, but that this will be my identity now. I am the person who is going to kill themselves. I am the person who um, is fighting with their husband and you know now they're gonna look at us differently the thing that I'm not saying is the thing that I need to find someone to, to share that with even though I don't want to even though uh, I'm very very nervous about it that is the thing that I have to find a way to say I think when I was younger I didn't put a space around me that ensured my safety mentally I think that if somebody was sad if bad things happened, it just went straight into my nervous system. So I have this like 10 second thing in my head. Give everything 10 seconds. Um, a lot can change in 10 seconds. When things get bad, do anything. So go outside, um, call a friend, do absolutely anything. Anything but travel down the dark place, which is so hard to do because in that dark place, it starts feeling comfortable because it's something that you know. So maybe 10 seconds can change my entire life. 10 seconds can change my view. So to give myself just 10 seconds of breathing, of closing my eyes, of nobody's here. I don't have to make this decision right now. I don't have to move on anything right now. And if I need longer than that, then it's 10 seconds longer than that. If I need longer than that, I have to say, I need longer than that. I need more time. I can't do it. Feelings have a lot of power, so they feel like they feel, of course, like they can take over everything that's going on. As much as so much stuff could be happening in your head, you can still be okay. You can actually feel bad and feel negative and still be okay. You can have really sad moments and still be okay. One, one moment in your day does not determine how your life is going to work out. One minute or one hour, one embarrassing thing is not going to define you because you are okay.